Hello, welcome to my show. Who the hell am I? Well, if you don't know, you may have seen me in Spelling Bee or The Lion and the Wiz, or on the electric company watching TV with your kids. But if you saw Memphis, how could you forget this? The smile, the smile, the fat, the blow. Welcome to the James Monroe Idle Heart Show. What's happening, JMI fans? This is another wonderful and amazing episode of the JMI Show, and as I said in the last episode, I have a set. Yes, a set. <laughs> For all you naysayers out there, when I was in the basement, I have come up in the world. Will it stay like this? We don't know. But that's not the point. The point is I have it right now. So, but who is gracing my set now? So, you guys all know the story of Aladdin. 1992, movie came out, you know Abu, you know the tiger, you know the carpet, but what you do not know is in the history of the movie, there were supposed to be three other characters, friends of Aladdin. So, in the new, brand new musical presented by The Fifth Avenue, we have brought those characters back, and on my set, on my show today, I have the three amazing gentlemen that play those roles. We have Brian Gonzalez, Brandon O'Neill, and Andrew Keenan Bolger, who play Babcack, Omar, and Kasim. Welcome to the JMI show, my friends. Thank you, Jay. Thanks for here. Yes. Thank you very much. Now, um, for you people who do not know who these brothers are, um, the wonderfully leather-cladded <laughs> brothers who obviously sent an email out. Nope, no, no email sent. Uh, We're just like that. <laughs> you, you see how they came on my show, but didn't tell me nothing. I could have worn my leather jacket, but thanks for letting me know, fellas. You know, I'm stuck in a lamp for three hours, but you know, y'all get to start the show off and leave my behind out. But that's fine. It's cool. I'm okay. So I would like to uh, just let the folks know exactly who you are. That's Andrew at the end, Brandon in the middle, and Brian on the side. So I'll start going this way because this one, I, well actually no, I'll start at the end because this one I've known for <laughs> forever. Uh, let's start with Andrew. Andrew, yeah. my brother, you have been a part of this project for a oh, while. Wow, you were part of the original reading of Aladdin, weren't you? I was, yeah, and I mean, it has moved very quickly here. We had our first reading uh, in October of last year, so it's happened. Like the pace of it has been very quick. Um, but yes, I guess since the original. And you have done uh, a couple different things uh, in New York City. What were you were in? What? Um, in New York City recently, I was in uh, Mary Poppins, another Disney classic. Yes. Um, and then I've done tours of uh, Spelling Bee and How the Grinch Stole Christmas. It's been a Disney kind of year. Yeah, James. that's really, really nice, really nice. And then next to you is the uh, one of the premier leading men of this wonderful area. This brother, wherever he goes, um, his wife follows with a bat because of a <laughs> legion of females who followed this dude, no matter what theater he's at, yeah. Mr. Brandon O'Neill. Brandon just got through playing uh, Sky Masterson in Guys and Dolls, and while he was doing that at night, he was doing uh, Aladdin rehearsals in the afternoon. So, brother, what's it like going from, you know, being the man with all the females to just sticking in a group of dudes in this show? <laughs> uh, Guys and Dolls was a fantastic opportunity to really kind of work out that leading, the leading man chops that I hadn't really had an opportunity to do. I've been playing a lot of kind of character guys and sidekicks and, and uh, you know, spotlighty type of roles, but um, Sky Masterson was great. I loved living in that time period. I loved the suits and everything. Yeah. And then I got to grow up my goatee for this show. <laughs> so, but this has been amazing. I mean, uh, Guys and Dolls, there's nothing like going from something that's so established and so well done to something that's brand new. And they're yes. like writing as we go. And, you know, you're coming up with lyrics. You're coming up with, you know, shtick to add to the show. So it's it's a, a different kind of creative. And what's really crazy for you three, I mean, um, I think the only people who've gotten more changes on pieces of paper than I have have been the three of you. <laughs> Every day they have something brand new for you guys. Like, that was awesome last night. We have a whole new song, have fun. I mean, <laughs> how do you guys even approach it? You're like, like, I get new lines and I can go, okay, go back to my room and like work on the lines. You guys get new songs. So, <laughs> what goes through your head? You're like, well, I think we kind of approach it like this. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of been what we've been doing. So the brother who just answered the question is my boy, my brother, <laughs> one of my dear friends, Mr. Brian Gonzalez. Brian and I met um, on during Spelling Bee on, in Bra on Broadway, and uh, we met so stupidly. What, how did, what was the line that we met doing? We we were movie buffs, and so you said something. And I can't remember what it was. It was a it was a Star Trek or Star Wars reference. I think it was some yeah. sort of Star Trek. Some, I think some sort of Star Wars. Or reference. was it a Looney Tunes reference? 
Either one. If yeah. so, with the, the nerd crew that we have created is ridiculous, <laughs> um, and we keep adding people to it. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, Brian, uh, you are originally from Dallas, Texas. Dallas, Texas. Mm -hmm. And I, we did, we met on Broadway. But as you, you left Texas right as I was going to Texas to mm -hmm. do Showboat. So I had heard about you yeah. and met you uh, on Broadway. So, what have you been doing before Aladdin? Before you got here. Uh, I have sort of been bouncing around doing different things at different theaters, but re recently over the last year I was doing the Shrek tour. Oh, look, wow. Oh, there you go. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh he's yeah. a signature. Oh. And I no, was, that, 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 uh, that wasn't a cool segue, I'm just that good. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I was technically uh, technically in the Broadway cast very briefly before it closed, and then I ended up doing the tour, so it was, you know, so that's what I've been up to. And, right. uh, I, and then, of course, now I'm doing Aladdin with with all of you, which is funny that you and I work together, right? Because I, I have actually worked with with both of them before, uh, with him in, in a spelling bee tour, and, and with Brandon and uh, in a Andrew, and with Brandon uh, in a uh, in a reading where he was the only person I've ever seen successfully play Desi Arnaz. <laughs> uh, <laughs> dang, of course. And, yeah. I remember I, I found out that it was I got I got the call that I would be doing this role with these two guys, and I called Casey and asked for them to be recast. <laughs> <laughs> I actually did the same thing about you because I knew Mike Epps was available. So. Oh, wow, wow, <laughs> wow, 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 wow. You know, we're always trying to find new people, but it's okay. I mean, we all know when this, we, you know, every every uh, movie becomes a musical and then that musical becomes a movie. We know when it becomes a movie, Danny DeVito will be playing your role. Exactly. But that's not the point. What really is the point, and this is how we are constantly. <laughs> so it's so glad that we really don't have any scenes together because I think Casey would pull out what the rest of his hair if the four of us were all stage. They'd be like, all oh, you guys, fire! So, um... I have to ask, I mean, your harmonies are so tight in this show. Um, was was the chemistry there instantly, like on the first day that you guys get together and it just was like, wow, it's just there? I feel like kind of it was, yeah. We, yeah, I don't, I'm not It was remarkable. It was really, really nice to to sit in a room and sing the first stanza and have, have it be like, okay, everyone here. And just to let everybody know, it. you guys sing Arabian Nights. So right. the yeah. show opens with the three of you, mm -hmm. and you guys sing the most famous song in this, you know, one of the most famous songs in the cartoon and in the show. And also, it's such a big production number. It is just one of the coolest people, my friends were here last night, and they kept talking about Arabian Nights, how, I mean, just, you just blast on the stage with these, the jokes, the harmonies. You guys set up the whole show. The way your style is is what sets up the entire vision of the new musical Aladdin. It's like the coolest thing to watch. It doesn't get old. You know, so what, what's it, I will have to say, was it a little nerve wracking knowing that you guys were going to completely bring in brand new characters that no one had seen yet? You know, like people had heard about the characters, but everybody knew the other characters from cartoons. Like, I play the genie, people know what I'm gonna do. People are like, who the heck are these three people? I mean, as, did it bother you at, at all? Was it nerve wracking at, at all? Well, it, you know, go ahead. Well, it was funny. It, it, it was a, a bit, especially when they said, you know, you, you guys set the tone for the show. You were the first three people that come on. You are the first three people that have something come out of your mouths. So we all kind of went, well, well, that's no pressure, right? You know? <laughs> so, so that was interesting. And, and then we got a then we got a groove going, and we got we bonded with each other, and we we really had a chemistry on stage, and it was very. And we were, this is great. We're loving this. And then of course, I think like four shows into previews, Casey comes up to us and confides, is like, you know, we were worried whether this would work. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> Thank you. First four Thanks. weeks. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but we're better now because we're getting good audience response. Casey seems happy, and from what I understand, the creatives are happy mm -hmm. uh, with with where the three of us are going. So that's it's awesome. Good. They also have this cool, really, really cool scene. Like I said, I don't want to tell you more about it, but you have to see it. Like you know, there are fight scenes in other Disney shows, but we have a fight scene in Aladdin. We have a battle in Aladdin, and it's these three guys, sword fights and jokes and songs, and they're singing the entire time. That's what I love about it. You guys are swinging swords and singing. You show me Steven Seagal swinging and kicking and nah. singing at the same time. Like will not happen. Nice. Jet Li can hardly speak English. <laughs> I'm just telling you, you will not see Sylvester Stallone punching Apollo Creed while singing an aria. That's just not gonna happen, but these three brothers here are swinging swords and singing. It's the coolest thing. I have to just give you guys mad props for that. I mean, Thank singing you. and dancing is one thing, but singing and fighting, I was like, wow, hit a long note and cut somebody's nose off, but you guys are perfect. I think it's awesome. And it's actually, I think it's actually really well constructed the way they put our three characters into it because we really are the appetizer and the warm up for you. Oh, thank you. Which is a great thing because the audience has to wait Nine, nine, almost you do almost it, an yeah. hour before you show up. Now, when you do show up, oh, how worth the wait it was. Well, thank you very much. And you are spectacular. But it's really clever because if, if we do work, and it looks like we are, 
um, we are we're a wonderful setup, and then then you show up, and then we get to come back some more, and we all get to be together, and, and that's wonderful, awesome. you know. Mm -hmm. But it's it's really clever the way they they give the audience something to build up to your entrance with, and cool. with many things, Jafar, with Iago, all of that kind of stuff. So it's great. Now um, the brother at the other end, uh, Andrew Keenan Bolger. Um, people know you uh, from, of course, your stage work and everything. But what a lot of folks know you for is for your internet work. He is a fantastic uh, director. He is a wonderful writer. You have a show called For Your Consideration. It's called Submissions Only. Submissions um, Only. Yes, for your consideration. It's a whole new movie that had nothing to do with me. Sorry. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I I do. I have like a kind of random YouTube following. I started creating stuff right when YouTube came out. I was kind of one of the first people who sort of integrated theater and uh, the media of uh, of like internet and. Uh, yeah, and so now I, I've done a lot of like internet kind of web series and like blogs and video blogs. Uh, so yes, there's definitely there's a there's an Andrew's blog following out there, which is amazing. And uh, even some here in Seattle, I've met a few people at the stage door, and they're like. I watch your show on YouTube. Which is really the only reason why you're on my show, because I'm trying to get your fans. Because um, you, know you know I'll send a I, Twitter I, link. I, I, fig I figured what happened would be, I knew, I knew Brian, if I didn't put his, him on my show, his mom would kill me, because I met her. <laughs> and I met Brandon's wife, and I'm pretty sure his wife and my wife will bond, and once they bond, I'll have no say-so in anything, so I figured I'd get Brandon on. And, well, but Andrew doesn't have a wife, but he has fans, and I want them. So I brought you all on my show, so really, I don't care about any of you. This is all about me. And I'm so really happy that you all fell for it. Um, <laughs> no, actually, I love these boys. This is my, my brother's here. Um, thank you for being on my show. Um, ladies and gentlemen of the JMI fans, you have got to see Aladdin because I'm telling you right now, Howard's original vision for having, Howard and Alan's original vision of having Aladdin's friends has finally been brought to life, a three dimensional you know, thing has actually happened. Living, breathing, fighting, singing, comedic timing is ridiculous. To watch Andrew, Brandon, and Brian on stage is so much fun. So, if you happen to be in the Seattle area, I suggest you run over to the Fifth Avenue, get your ticket, and have a ball with us at Aladdin. Brothers, thank you for being on my show. Thanks, I will dude. see you all tonight. Because guess what? We still have rehearsal. We open tomorrow. We still have rehearsal. That's what it's like putting together a new show. It's not easy. It is hard work. <laughs> brothers are sweating, growing beards. Seriously, see? <laughs> this brother was clean shaven when we started rehearsal. Now look at him, looking like Moses. But I'll see you guys later. Peace.